Among those battling the disease, a mother of three in the north suburb. She was one of the first people diagnosed with COVID-19 in Lake County. She's back home now and in a story you will see first right here on Hour 18. She has a new warning for all of us and also tells CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonyo her symptoms started with a burning sensation in her lungs. Describe to me what that pain felt like. Well, it felt like I was breathing in shards of glass. Um, it, was, it was burning and my chest was very tight. Terry, when you went to the emergency room, the CT scan showed that you had double viral pneumonia? Yes, and it was very scary. The ER doctor seemed extremely concerned. Um, it, she, she felt it was consistent with what she had heard about other physicians seeing uh, with COVID patients. And it was just uh, really important that it was a CT scan was done since I had had two regular chest x-rays that were negative. One thing you said you really wanted to share and get across is how serious you feel about the social isolation. Every single person that's exposed to another person can infect three to four or more and more people without knowing it. And I, I really wish that we were actually for two or three weeks on a complete national lockdown. I think that piecemealing it state by state is, is really only, you know, doing it halfway. It's not going to have the full impact that we need it to have. And I think that people are going to die because of it. Chasley says she believes she was infected with COVID-19 while attending a fundraiser. Three other people at that event tested positive. Many of them there travel for work. Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS 2 News. Chasley also tells us she lost her sense of smell and taste shortly after getting sick. Symptoms that only recently have been associated with COVID-19. Just a couple of days ago, professional organizations representing ear, nose and throat specialists started citing anecdotal evidence of that in some COVID-19 patients.